Disney Junior. Alice's Wonderland Bakery. Unforgettable unbirthday. Alice walks through Wonderland carrying a beautiful birthday cake. What do you think? She asks her friends. It's positively perfect, Alice, Fergie says. Do you think the Princess of Hearts will like it? She'd be bonkers not to, Hattie exclaims. Suddenly, the cake starts to sparkle. Alice smiles. This is her secret ingredient. I call them wishing sprinkles, she says. Just a little something I whipped up for the princess. Hats off to you, Alice, Hattie says. I love a good surprise. Alice arrives at the palace. This is her first time meeting the princess. Presenting a white rabbit, a card guard announces, and a hatter, and... Who are you? Alice, Alice says. Howdy, princess. I've heard all about you, the princess exclaims. You're the best baker in Wonderland. Call me Rosa. Alice sets her cake in front of Rosa. Rosa closes her eyes and makes a wish. The cake starts to shake. Boom! Icing flies everywhere, and colorful sprinkles shower down like confetti. Happy birthday, princess, Alice says with a smile. But the other guests aren't smiling. They run and scream, trying to avoid the sticky icing raining down on them. Great spades, cries the queen of hearts. Everyone inside. The Queen of Hearts grabs Rosa. This is a disaster, she exclaims. Let's go. Wait, Alice cries. It's not as messy as it seems. The Queen doesn't listen. She drags Rosa away. But Mama, we haven't had cake yet, Rosa says. Seconds later, the splatters of icing and sprinkles transform into butterflies and flutter away. Everything is clean again, but it's too late. As a card guard motions for Alice and her friends to leave, the cake falls off the table with a splat. The next day, Alice feels terrible. I can't believe I ruined Princess Rose's birthday, she says. I have to make it up to her, but how? Cookie has the answer. When you want to make someone feel better, you bake them something, she says. Alice flips through Cookie's pages, looking for just the right recipe. She notices a page with the corner folded over. What's this one? She wonders aloud. The recipe is old and worn, the page smudged with food. Finally, Alice makes out the title. Unbirthday cake? She reads. Hold the scone, Hattie cries. I thought only Hatters celebrated unbirthdays. He explains that an unbirthday is a party on any day other than your birthday. Alice is still confused. But if it's an unbirthday, what are you supposed to celebrate? She asks. Hattie grins. You don't need a reason. With your friends, any day can be special. Alice decides to bake an unbirthday cake for Princess Rosa. Before long, it's almost ready. The final ingredient is difficult to read, but Alice makes it out. Pineapple powder. Fergie finds a bottle with a pineapple on the label. I've never seen this ingredient before, he says. Alice pours the golden powder into the icing bowl. It sure looks curious, she says. She mixes and swirls and swooshes until the cake is fantastically frosted. It's time to invite Rosa. Hattie scribbles a note and sends Chamomile the Dormouse to deliver it. Then Fergie notices something. Uh, Alice, where'd the table go? What in Wonderland, Alice whispers. The table is gone, Hattie points up. The entire unbirthday party table, chairs and cake is floating up toward the ceiling. As Alice watches in amazement, everything flips upside down. We have to get that cake off the ceiling or I'll be letting Princess Rosa down again. Alice says. She and her friends try everything they can think of, dancing dodo eggs, floating balloons, even a few leftover crumbs of tall cake so Alice can grow taller to try to reach the table. But nothing works. Hello, Rosa says. 
Am I late? No, Alice says, but things are up in the air at the moment. Whatever the problem is, I'd love to help out Oof, Rosa exclaims, as a glob of icing drips onto her face. I felt awful when everyone ran away from your birthday party, Alice tells Rosa. So I wanted to throw you an unbirthday, but I made a mistake with the recipe. I'm sorry. Rosa looks around. I've never had an unbirthday cake before, and the upside down seating is unexpected. She grins. I heart this. You do? Alice exclaims. Rosa smiles shyly. Friends were all I wanted for my birthday, she admits. And then you did all this for me. Alice is relieved. Well, that's what friends do. Rosa wipes the icing off her cheek and tastes it. Mmm, fruity and delicious, she says. What's in it? Suddenly, Alice has a hunch. She checks the bottle. Hold on, she says. This isn't just pineapple powder, it's pineapple upside down powder. So the cake is supposed to be on the ceiling? Fergie asks. Yep, Alice replies. And so are we. She pours a teacup full of golden powder, then tosses it in the air. Soon everyone is upside down. Happy unbirthday, Rosa, Alice says. To new friends. To new friends, Rosa agrees happily, raising her teacup. Then they celebrate the best unbirthday ever.